Uh, uh, where am I going now? Bags for leaves. Well, 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 well. Five feet down, or actually six feet, because it's a foot above the grade, there is a bleh, piece of brass screwed to the casing. And it has a flat flange with an O-ring. And I'm going to take this for the benefit of piss on Jap Scrap, who's probably working hard up at 5 a.m. like the good farmer that he is. I'm going to take this other piece of brass. It's called a pitless adapter. Nothing to do with pits or caves. It's pitless because it's brass and doesn't rust. Anti-corrosion. I'm going to take this pitless adapter. I'm going to figure out which one of these is 60 feet. I forget which roll was rich. I'm going to heat it up with a little hair dryer. Slip that in. Then I'm going to take this end, which just is threaded. It doesn't go anywhere. It's threaded. And I'm going to take this 10 foot long galvanized pipe tee. Look at that. Made in the USA. I'm going to screw this on. Of course it's a 10 foot end. I'm going to drop it down and it's going to engage. Click! It's going to engage with the other half and it has a little stopper built in. And it's going to make a seal so that water from the well pump, which will be at the bottom of this 60 foot piece of plastic pipe, 160 PSI. Well pump is... Uh, oh, I brought it outside already. The well pump is here, $300 for a half horsepower. I'm going to connect with a one and a quarter of that to that. I'm going to drop it down. The pump will be at the bottom, 60 feet. And this will engage. And the water, I'll unscrew it and the water will come out. Five feet underground into the house. All right. Easy power. Made in China. Brass fitting, Taiwan. Clamps, who knows. Nothing is marked on the box. Look. Toes, clamps, all stainless steel. Collier de serrage, acier inoxydable. Abrezadero, acero inoxydable. Sounds like babble to me. Smyrna, Texas. Smyrna, Tennessee. There's. What I gotta do here is uh, set the camera on a bucket or something and show you how I put this all together because I know that you care. There we go. Craft original roast Maxwell House with flavor lock lid. Steriline. Powerful chlorine well disinfectant. Alright, set the camera right there. And uh crack her up! This is like watching grass grow. Or watching cheese get moldy. It's real slow. Really slow. After I get it heated up, this plastic, black plastic 160 PSI rigid hose pipe, I'm going to slide it onto this brass fitting that I threaded into the top of the water pump that I'm going to throw in the well. All makes sense, huh? I guess if you're here, I'll show you how my fitness works, my fitness adapter. view of what I'm doing? Yep. Camera is aimed appropriately, my little Casio. How hot do you make it? I don't know. Stinking hot, I guess. Keep it moving. I was watching the guy do this and put the pitless on and he put this pipe underground and he melted the pipe and he, I think he overheated it. it. Got me nervous. What am I going to do? I guess if it leaks I'll come back and dig it up. I haven't paid it yet. I'll be getting the bill in the mail for the trench they dog. 75 feet of trench. One and a half guys. Boy. Not getting too hot. Mm -hmm. 
This could be one of my boring no talk videos. I could just let the machine do the talking. How about that? How about that? And that's it. Whee! Contact! Woo! Hot flame. All right. That was pretty easy. Oh, yeah. That's good for the motor. Get it all full of sand. I meant to bring a bigger piece of cardboard. I forgot to bring a bigger piece of cardboard. I forgot to bring a second pipe wrench. I had two pipe wrenches. I took them back. I only had one pipe wrench and a junk of ice cream, but it was enough to tighten this. So I'm going to take my 5 sixteenths. I'm going to tighten these clamps. I'm going to throw this thing down the well. Oh, don't forget to hook up the connectors. And I have a torque arrestor here. $7. Simmons. Four to eight inch well casing, inch or inch and a quarter drop pipe. McDonough, Georgia. Simmons Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Seven dollars. Lowe's wanted ten bucks. I'm going to put that on. It stops the stress build up here. It's a torque arrestor. When the pump starts, it twists and absorbs the torque, so you shouldn't get a break here. You get a break there. <laughs> Pull the whole thing out. All right. See you in a bit. Oh, the sun's already halfway across the sky and it's freaking one o'clock. It's terrible. Crank her down. I just noticed the hose clamps that came in this ideal box say on them, USA. Well, I bought this torque arrestor. Made in USA torque arrestor. Yep, made in USA. Says it right there and the clamp is not big enough to attach it to the pump and if I had a bigger clamp I would put it on the pump as opposed to the fitting but I don't I'm not going to the store I gotta get this job done get out of here because the sun's dipping down in the sky a torque arrestor stops the pump from unscrewing and stressing the plastic pipe so I'm gonna squish it a little bit there's no instructions I'm gonna open it up a bit so it hugs the side of the casing Yep. Wow. There's the water. Twelve feet down. Three meters. Four meters. Okay. Stick this thing in. I'm going to put some solder on these wires that are marked Franklin Electric right on the wire. They have their own wire made on this made in Mexico pump. $270. Made in Mexico. No control box required. 10 gallon per minute, half horsepower, amps, doesn't say. Huh. Alright. I'll throw it down the hole pretty soon. ding a ling a ling It must be me. Alright. I've got my torque arrestor clamped on. I don't like this system. It's cutting into the rubber. If I had a larger clamp, I'd clamp it right onto the pump. But whatever, this is what I got, and i got to get this job done. So, got this thing clamped on both ends. I've compressed it a bit, squished it so it hits the side of the casing. And now, I'm going to take my Maiden Spokane, Washington roller, and I'm going to roll out and see how much wire I have because this is the end of my 250-foot roll that I've got underground more than I need, but 33 feet. Wow. Hmm. Thought I had more wire. Oops. 33, 36, 40 feet. Hmm. I thought I could put this pump down deeper, but this is all the wire that I have. Anyway, the static is at 12 feet, and it's the same water because it's coming up from the bottom. The casing goes right to the bottom. It's not a partially cased well. It's fully cased right to the bottom. So it's the same water, whether it's halfway down or all the way down. Way down there. All right. Time to throw her down. All right. It's an hour later. I'm getting hungry. Sun's moving down in the sky. I got my time telling trees. What am I doing here? I got a big piece of shrink tubing with glue built into it. Thank goodness for eBay. I'm going to slide it onto my wires. Then I'm going to crimp 
these little lug thingies on with a pair of vice grips because I forgot my crimping tool and Mrs. CW ain't coming down here soon. And I got some shrink tubing on these wires and I'm going to shrink tube everything and shrink, shrink, shrink tube and throw her down the hole. All right. Watch that sun go down early. Crazy time change.